A tension presents the sigma force tensiometer, the surface tension, interfacial tension, dynamic contact angle, and CMC measurements. First, a quick overview of sigma. Sigma force tensiometer is equipped with a supersensitive balance, a motorized sample stage, and a control keyboard. The keyboard allows quick and convenient control during and between experiments. A platinum ring probe hung on the balance is used to measure the surface tension of the blue liquid positioned on the sample stage. The ring probe is immersed in the liquid sample. As the ring is raised, a meniscus forms pulling down on the ring. The force exerted on the meniscus is recorded and can be used to calculate surface tension. Results are plotted and analysed by the attention software. Platinum is used because it wets perfectly, which simplifies the measurement. Actually, any shape of probe can be used as long as it has a regular geometry. For instance, a rod can be used for low volume. Next, we'll use a plate probe. Next, a surface tension is measured to determine critical micelle concentration. Surfactants in low concentrations occupy the surface of a liquid. Above the critical micelle concentration, the surface is saturated and the surfactants form micelles. In this experiment, sigma will be used to automatically determine the CMC of a detergent solution. A concentrated surfactant solution is on the sample stage, and two dispensers are connected to sigma. One dispenser is used to add diluting water, and the other to remove excess liquid. The surfactants used here is a typical detergent found in shampoos and toothpastes in a water solution. The measurement starts with concentration well above the expected CMC. The plate is wetted and raised to the liquid surface, where the surface tension is measured the first time. Then the sample is gradually diluted by removing some liquid and replacing it with pure water. The solution is mixed and the surface tension is measured at each concentration. The software records the surface tension at set concentrations and results are plotted in real time on the screen. Software calculates the CMC of your detergent solution. Sigma also enables easy measurement of interfacial tension. As an example, we will study the interface between water and an oil. The ring probe is simply placed on the water phase, then the oil is poured on top. The ring is then pulled through the water oil interface. Next, we will measure powder wettability. Titanium dioxide is often used as a white pigment. In this experiment, we are investigating differences in wettability between two samples from different providers. Using the Washburn method, the titanium dioxide powder holder is lowered into the water surface. Water rises into the powder due to capillary forces, and the mass change over time is recorded. Results are plotted in real time on your screen. The initial linear slope corresponds to a uniformly advancing level of water. This information can be used to determine the contact angle. The slopes of the two samples are compared directly, and we see that powder A is wetted more rapidly than powder B. Thus, the wettability of powder A with water is greater than of powder B. Next, we will measure a dynamic contact angle. Dynamic contact angle is used to study important surface characteristics of a variety of substrates. The sample must have uniform size and surface properties, but can take any shape. For instance, sigma is used to measure dynamic contact angle of fibers, plates, polymer blocks, and so on. As an example, we will measure the dynamic contact angle between a glass slide coated with gold and water. A biopolymer has been attached to the slide, and now the attachment is studied by performing dynamic contact angle measurements. As the coated slide is lowered into the liquid, an advancing contact angle forms. And when the substrate is lifted, a receding contact angle forms. The force on the plate plotted against depth provides a slope that is used to calculate the contact angle in both cases. Sigma can also measure sedimentation. 
To study particle suspensions, the sample is first mixed until the particles are evenly suspended. Then a ball probe is immersed inside the sample vessel. Over time, the particles settle and the mass increase on the ball is measured. Solids accumulate on the bottom of the vessel. And on the bowl, as it is visible now, that the experiment is over. Sigma measures the mass of the particles accumulated in the bowl over time. Sedimentation behaviour can be observed when compared to your other samples. Here the settling time was determined to be 3 hours and 20 minutes. And finally, a density measurement. Density measurement can be conducted by immersing a glass sphere attached to the sigma into the liquid sample. The density and volume of the sphere probe are known. The recorded change in mass after immersion is used to calculate density. Sigma force tensiometer is the instrument of choice to measure surface tension and critical micelle concentration. Please visit attention.com for additional information and to read about our other tensiometers.